to the introduction of the Human Technical Readout channel. I'm your host, Human Technical Readout, or HTRO for short, because I'm slack and I'm an Aussie and we shorten everything down. And this is Battletech. My mission statement is to cover this fictional universe of Battletech in all the ways. In all the aspects, be it the tabletop war game, either the classic Battletech or the newer Alpha Strike, role-playing games, as well as the various multimedia incarnations such as the computer games and the singular cartoon. Yes, even the singular cartoon. My intent is to do battle reports, not just one-offs, but long-term campaigns, as well as covering all the battle scenario packs from the previously published Battletech books. Should I say that multiple times? Well, I did, but you don't get to hear it. The Grey Death Legion, the Kell Hounds, the Black Widow Company, Battalion, Cluster... Sirens and Sabres, Rolling Thunder, The Fox's Teeth, McCarran's Arm and Cavalry, and yes, even the first Somerset Strikers, as well as the rest of the 32-odd scenario packs. These will take time as I intend to have all the units accurately portrayed and painted correctly. No, I will not be stripping them off the paint of the already done ones and re repainting them. I will be buying new models to paint every time, hopefully from Alpha Strike or Ares Games plug to those lovely companies. The Op 4s on the other hand might be um, historically inaccurate, painted, but uh, they should be the correct battle mech, if not the correct configurations. Bloody Omni mechs. I look forward to doing even the fan yet well made campaigns such as Rally Centrella's tabletop campaign of the HBS Battletech computer game 2018. I'll also be running my 348 Comstar campaign which will be in the west of the periphery, uh, past the Lyra and half the Federated Commonwealth. But wait, there's more. Weapons, tactics, individual battle mechs, and the rest of the crunchies, plus aerospace fighters, drop ships, jump ships, wait, that's a book, and all the lore or fluff. Millions of words printed in the novels, source books, and of course, the technical readouts, of which there are over 85 and more coming out every fortnight. Bloody hell. And it's hard to know everything, but your friend... The Friendly Neighbourhood Human Technical Readout, or HDRO, knows it all, or knows where to find it. Hint, it's Sun and Net, but if you want someone to talk about it, then ask me. I may be opening a can of worms, but I'm open to having other people on the channel talking about their Battletech. Hit me up if you're interested, and a topic you want to talk about. So if you have any questions about Battletech, feel free to ask me in the comments, or email me, him, whatever, at humantechnicalreadout at gmail.com. It's all one word, no spaces. So how'd I get my start in Battletech? Let me take you back to the 1980s. Yes, I did the hand motions. Well, the end of the 80s. And I still maintain that the only good thing about the 1980s, it was getting us further away from the 1970s. That said, I have the same feeling about the 1990s with the 1980s. But I digress. Uh, I'm still deciding about the noughties and the tens. So the year was 1989, and a real champion of a friend, and do note the absolute sarcasm of the term champion of a friend, waved the second edition Battletech box set at me with the uh, Robotech slash Macross Tomahawk on the cover. What we know today is the unseen Whammer. <sighs> My first Battletech love. So anyway, this champion of a friend gave me a record sheet of the Warhammer and he took his custom mech based off the uh, Destroyer Mark II, which you may know as the Stone Rhino or Behemoth, depending on what faction you belong to. Hi there, this is future human technical readout remembering another champion fact about my champion friend doing champion things. Basically, he costed the Auto Cannon 5s as Auto Cannon 5s, but said no, no, they did 20 points of damage. So they had a range of a PPC, had 20 rounds per gun, and did 20 points of damage. Mmm, no. Bad, bad, bad. Bad on toast. Right, I will leave you with past human technical readout and enjoy the rest of the show from the 3055 technical readout. It was so custom. Mm, how to put it delicately. Ah, yes. Not tournament legal. I was stumped hard, but I'd fallen in love with the game. I still talk to the game. I don't talk to the champion of a friend. Side note, when you're introducing someone to the game, any game, not just Battletech, use the what I call let the Wookiee win strategy, meaning... Make it a tough fight, but let them win. Gain your pleasure from introducing someone new to something you love. If you crush them at all costs, that just makes you the fuck Muppet. That's 
F A R K Muppet. Muppets are cool puppets. Fuck Muppets are not, if you get my meaning. And so we come to the end of the introduction video. At the end of the day, I am one person doing all the writing, researching, recording, editing, art choices, music writing, all of it. If you want to help the channel out, don't forget to like and subscribe. But this is Battletech. Any Battletech is good Battletech, so I took what I could get. And you ain't seen nothing yet.